Okay, hello Librans. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing you guys weekly reading. Hello, hello to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, sit back, enjoy this reading, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Okay, you guys. I hope you can get some clarity on something that can help you. Okay. All right. So I'm just hearing um you guys, um, somebody lost everything, or or I'm hearing that you're feeling like you lost everything, okay? Um, that you lost a lot. If not everything, you feel like you lost a lot. Some of you, it could be money issues. Some of you, it's a person, you know, or this is how uh, energy is feeling about you. Like they lost you. Um, and they just feel like they lost everything. Okay. I, I, I'm hearing the song. You are my sunshine. You make me happy. You are my sunshine. You make me happy. You know, so you know, you made this person happy. You was like everything to this person. You were like the sun to this person. You know, you took their, their rainy days away. This is how they feeling. And now they don't have you no more. Or this is how you feeling about somebody you lost. You don't have them no more. You know, so, you know, you got some of you guys or could be in a depression or they're in a depression over you. All right. So that's what I'm hearing. All right. Somebody feeling at a loss, you know, when it comes to, you know, a person or you lost some belongings, some money or something you lost. Somebody just feel like they lost a lot, lost their everything, okay? All right, so let's see what the cards say. Okay, Libra's energy. Okay, Libra's energy, please. Okay. I'm hearing lost and found. So maybe this person was lost when you guys found each other. So that's why you mean so much to this person or that's why this person means so much to you. Leave us in. Oh, these are a lot of cards. This is the whole story right here, y'all. Somebody has a lot of, to express, a lot to say. Page of Wands is here. Okay, fire. Sag Leo Aries energy. King of Pentacles here. Capricorn energy. We have the Two of Swords. Air. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. The Seven of Swords. Air. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. The Ace of Pentacles. Earth. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. The Sun. There you go. Leo energy. The Magician Aries. Ten of Cups. Water. Could be a Cancer energy. But Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. Ten of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of Wands, Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. Three of Swords. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, your energy. King of Cups, there it go, Cancer. So it definitely is a Cancer energy as well for someone. Seven of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Page of Cups, Pisces. Could be somebody younger than you or you're younger than them. Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air, Energy, Ten of Wands. Bring that. Okay, Ten of Wands here. Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. Five of Cups, Water. Icy Scorpio, Cancer, Energy. And Four of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they're ready to talk, whoever this is, um, or the story is ready to be told, or they're ready to, let's see, let's just get into it. Let me stop guessing. So Page of Wands is here. There's some communication. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody you're not in communication with, okay? They're ready to now, they could have turned their back on you. This person could have turned their back on you. You could have had stability with this person in the past. You're very attractive to this person. 
I mean, they were very attractive to you. You were, they were highly attractive to you, or you could have been very highly attracted, you know, to each other. You know, you, this could have been your equal, but they, this person still chose to turn their back on you. Do they were immature at the time? This person was very immature. They could be younger than you. Okay. Um, now they want to come in and communicate with you. This person, they having creative ideas on how to get a new beginning with you, on how to come in and communicate this to you, all right? They want stability with you. This person sees you as very highly stable, successful, you know, on it, you know? They see you as an equal give and take to them, as well as they now have a lot on their plate. They could have a lot of pride. This is why they haven't came into you yet, because they're, they're not ready to let down their pride, let go of their pride. But they do want to come in and um, communicate with you, all right? And they're trying to figure out how with swords. They're stuck right now. They're at a crossroads on what they say to you to move forward with you. But believe me, this person is still highly attracted to you. They really look up to you as their equal give and take, you know? They, they look, you know, you, you hold it down. They see you holding it down. You're very independent, okay? You, they know you got it like that. All right, but they're at a crossroads now on how to get back with you because they deceived you in the past. Okay, and they don't want to let their pride down and come out and, you know, express what they need to express to be able to move forward with you. You know, maybe an apology. You know, they don't know how to apologize to you, you know. You know, for turning their back on you. They know they deceived you and walked away. Now, you know. Knowing that they had someone they could have a successful new beginning of stability with. They walked away from that. And now, you know, yeah, they know you made them happy. They know you made them happy. They ended a cycle with someone that made them happy. That they could have had a successful new beginning of stability with. You know, a, a successful life. You know, everything. New home. I mean, they could have had it all with you. But they gave that up for something else. All right? Now this person is um, manifesting you. This is an Aries energy, Libra. They're manifesting you. All right. Um, so when they come into you, so you'll be willing to give in to this person. So they're manifesting what they want. This is a manifester. They usually do get what they want. Um, Ten of Cups. They're manifesting the family foundation with you. They want you. You make this person happy. They always knew you made them happy. But they made an immature decision to walk away from you. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you were there everything. You gave them the stability, comfort, and security that anybody would need in a person. They gave that up. They want it back now. Okay, they're coming, they're gonna come into you wanting a partnership of stability. All right. Um Five of Wands is here. <sighs> this person right now may be innerly conflicted. All right. They're not knowing what to say to you, knowing how to get this. Partnership of stability off the ground with you, what to say to get it off the ground with you. All right. It could have been a situation where with someone else that they may have walked away from you for. And it could be a lot of arguing and fighting going on with this person. Um, three of swords is here. Or this is just them internally conflicted due to um heartbreak. They know they broke your heart and you know. So that that bothering that's bothering them, you know. It could be carrying a lot of guilt and shame due to that, and you know, they don't know how to come into you and fix it. This person could have put you in a third party situation. Um, this person could be. Thinking about if you're at a distance from this person, this person could be innerly conflicted on whether or not to move back to your vicinity. If you're not in their vicinity, they may be trying to figure out what to do concerning the distance between you and them. Um, King of Cups is here. They love you. Okay. Um, be careful. Um, make sure this person... They, they could be... I'm just going to leave it at that. They love you, King of Cups. It may come into you being more loving, more kind, where in the past it was a lot of arguments between you guys, a lot of arguing. And that could be, that's what caused the separation between you guys as well, the arguing. 
It could have been fighting. It could have been just, you know, a lot of clashing between you, you guys. But now they're going to come in to you more affectionate, affectionate, more loving, more kind. Um, Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they're looking at all types of options. They're looking into all types of options concerning stability. Maybe to move to your your area if they're at a distance from you. Okay? So they could be closer to you. This person could have a lot of other options, so be careful. Um, they, they're, they're also looking into options, how to come in and apologize to you because they know they owe you an apology. So they're going to come in first, maybe building a friendship with you as well. They're going to start off like they want a friendship, but really they, they want stability with you, but they're going to come in building a friendship with you first. All right. So use your intuition, use your wisdom in this, um, situation. This person could have a lot of wisdom. They're very smart, very intelligent, very, very intelligent. Um, Cancer energy here, Pisces energy here. They could have these in their chart. This fire sign to have all Cancer and Pisces in their chart. Or you're dealing with these signs. Some of you are just dealing with different signs. Eight of Swords is here. Yeah, um... Hmm. This person is feels bound to you. They feel like they have a spiritual connection with you. Okay. They feel like they have some type of spiritual um telepathy type connection with you. So they feel bound to you. You know, they can't let go of you. You know, they're allowing themselves to be stuck to you, bound to you. They don't want to let go. All right. And you may have released this burden. It was burdening to you. This person caused you a lot of burden, so you released this burden. Where they still held on to you mentally, you know, physically. They still held on to you. It's like this person still could feel you. Like they still connected with you even when they weren't with you. Um, The Five of Cups is here. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame here. This person really misses you. They miss you. When you release this person, you know, they they really missed you. So all they could do was hold on to you mentally and physically, you know, you know, in the um, metaphysical form, in the, you know, I think that's the word for it. That's the only way they could hold on to you. So that's what they did. And they connected to you mentally. So if you felt like you always was thinking about this person or they was always on your mind or you felt like they were still with you, that's why, because. You stayed on their mind constantly, you know. Um, four of Pentacles is here. There you go. They held on to you. This person valued you to the point where they grew this spiritual connection and this telepathy type of connection with you. They built it somehow. Maybe this person is very magical. They know how to do this. They may have the tools to do this. They may do this person may be doing some type of spell work as well to get what they want with you. Gemini's energy. Get back in your good graces. Um, the six of pentacles. It's like this person is spending all their attention, time, and stability. You know, on getting you back. Because they're not trying to let you go. So they're spending all their time attention on getting you back. And stability. They may be spending money on spells or, you know, somebody to help them pull you back in or something of that nature. Because they want the stability back. They want what they have with you stability-wise back. They just swore. They watch you um, very, very closely. This person is very possessive over you. Um, they could be very envious if you're with somebody else. They could be very envious over that relationship. Jealous because you're not with them and they want you with them. Jealous it didn't work with them. Like it's maybe if you're with somebody else, it may be working. And they they wishing that it would have worked like that with them. Um, the lovers, this person's in love with you. They feel like you divinely meant to be with them, that you are theirs, that you belong to them. 
This is how this person feels. They're in love with you. This person feels committed to you and not even with you. Um, temperance is here. They're trying to gain insight on, um, like I said, how to get you back. Okay? You fulfill this person. Ace of Cups. Okay? They're trying to figure get insight how to get a new beginning with you because you fulfill them. You have everything this person wants to need. That's all I'm going to say on that. And that's what I have for you. Okay? Somebody's truly in love with you. Somebody wants you back. Okay? They want you back, back, back. Somebody wants you back. I'm out. Um, this is your weekly um Libra. And I love you guys. You good. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope you gain some insight.